हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल केटीज कॉमर्स क्लासेस टुडे टॉपिक रिटायरमेंट ऑफ ए पार्टनर अंडर अकाउंटिंग ऑफ पार्टनरशिप फर्स्ट स्टूडेंट वी हैव टू नो व्हेन ए पार्टनर कैन रिटायर अकॉर्डिंग टू सेक्शन 32 सब सेक्शन 1 ऑफ द इंडियन पार्टनरशिप एक्ट ए पार्टनर कैन रिटायर इन थ्री वेज नंबर 1 और ए विद द कंसेंट ऑफ ऑल पार्टनर्स such consent may be expressed or implied b in accordance with an express agreement by the partners c where the partnership is at will by giving a notice in writing to all other partners of his intention to retire these are the three ways a partner can retire now what are the adjustment necessary to determine the true claim of a retiring partner. First, what to do? We have to calculate new profit sharing ratio and gaining one. Second, in admission I taught you treatment of goodwill. Here also treatment of goodwill is necessary. Third, adjustment in regard to revaluation of assets and liabilities. Previously we did in admission, here also adjustment regard to revaluation of asset, asset and liabilities required. Number four, adjustment in regard to distribution of profit. Number five, ascertainment of total amount due to a retiring partner. Number six, mode of payment to retiring partner. Number seven, readjustment of capital after retirement for the existing continuing partners etc. Now a problem has been given regarding retirement to calculate new profit sharing ratio and gaining ratio. Now A, B, C and D are in partnership sharing profit and losses in the ratio 12 is to 10 is to 4 is to 6. D retires question asking find out new ratio and gaining ratio. The old ratio answer among A comma B comma C and D equals to that is given here twelve is to ten is to four is to six. Now question telling what students question telling D retires when D retires I will remove the D so, automatically ratio will be how much 12 is to 10 is to 4 new ratio among A B and C equals to 12 is to 10 is to 4. Now we know gaining ratio equals to what? Gaining ratio equals to new ratio minus old ratio. Which partners gain? If D retires, A will gain, B will gain and C will gain. A gains. Is old ratio is how much? New ratio is how much? 12 by 26. This is the new ratio. Minus old ratio how much? 12 by 32. 12 by 32. Now LCM will be what? LCM will be 416. It will be 192 minus 156. Equals to how much? 36 divided by 460. B gains. B is new ratio is how much? New ratio 10 by 26. Minus 10 by 32. Equals to LCM will be again 416. 160. 
minus 130 equals to 30 by 460. C gains. C share is how much? 4 by 26 minus 4 by 32. The LCM will be how much? 416. 416 here it will be 64 minus 52 equals to how much? 12 by 416. Therefore, gaining ratio of A, comma B and C equals to how much? 36 by 416 is to 30 by 416 is to 12 by 416 equals to 36 is to 30 is to 12 or Six is to five is to two. A, B, and C are partners sharing profits in the ratio five is to four is to one. C retires his share taken by A and B in the ratio two is to one. Question asking find new profit sharing ratio. So first we will write old ratio among. A comma B and C equals to question given how much? 5 is to 4 is to 1. Z share, C share equals to how much? Equals to 1 by 10. Share taken by A out of C share equals to 1 by 10 into taken by A and B in what ratio 2 is to 1 so 2 by 3 equals to how much 2 by 30 share taken by B out of C share equals to 1 by 10 into 1 by 3 equals to 1 by 30. So, X new share equals to X previously getting how much? 5 by 10 plus 2 by 30. Because A gains how much? A gains 2 by 30. That 2 by 30 will be added with old, old share. LCM will be 30. 10, 3 ja 30 means 15. Plus 2 equals to 17 by 30. Why is new share? Equals to old share is how much? 4 by 10 plus 1 by 30. He gains how much? He gains 1 by 30. Equals to LCM will be 30. Equals to 13 by 30. Therefore, new profit sharing ratio between A and B equals to 17 by 30 is to 13 by 30 equals to 17 is to 30. 